my understanding of, of Heidegger's essay on the question concerning technology. And uh, yeah, he starts with kind of a, if we look at the instance of trees and the instances of trees and the trees out there, they're not equal the essence of tree. If we found a new tree, it still would, it would exhibit treeness. So it's not the instances that are relevant to the essence. The same thing, the instances of technology do not generate the essence of technology, and that's technology-ness, which we'll call it, which is really what Heidegger is looking for, is the essence of technology in his article. So he thought, Look, let's look at the means to the end in this whole thing, the technology process, if you will. And he, so he talks about the cause, causal process, really has causal materialist, which is basically the material you know, from which something is made. And then the next step he talks about is the a, a causal a, a formulas, which is basically the, the, the shape that the material enters. All right, and the third step in the, in the fourth step process is the cause of finalist, which is basically the, the end use of the material in, in our terminology, I believe. All right, and then the fourth step or final step is basically the, the cause of efficiency, which is basically the causer or the manufacturer of the material. And, and looking at this whole technology process, you know, if you even considering the whole process, he feels that you still don't get to the essence of technology. The essence of technology is different. And he feels that the essence of technology is this kind of this concept that's going throughout the whole process. This, and he calls it inframing process. And it's, well, he doesn't call it a process. He calls it inframing. I'm calling it an inframing process. But basically what he says is that that's equal to the idea of what, what is brought forth or the bringing forth. Uh, as, as, and then the, the, the unconcealing and the revealing. These are the big issues for him with regards to this is what's going on. And, and this is what he believes will ultimately lead us to or, or ultimately represents the essence of technology. Now, the reason that that's important also is that when he then says, well, well, let's look at modern technology and see if the modern technology is a different paradigm. And he says, but basically, you know, he's looking at it and says, well, it really basically affects more the essence of the instance of, of, a, of an item. So it, it affects, you know, one particular instance of, of one particular technology more so than, than, than the, the whole. And even if it did, even if you look at it and say that modern technology actually changes all four or it can affect all four of these, it still doesn't affect the inframing process. There's still a bringing forth and unconcealing and a revealing. So the essence of technology doesn't change based upon the, what we see happening in modern technology. So it's no different than older technology.